Good morning everyone, it's Dr. Shippon with DrWhyNot.com. Today as we're looking around the lake, I am noticing that the wind has a pattern that has created these lines, these, these lines across the, the lake with the waves. I don't know if you can see all the way over there, there's a dragon boat team that is rowing. Today I want to talk with you about the labels that we use for certain things. I had a conversation today with some friends and I used the word bigot because I felt that the word bigot was the only way to describe somebody who had beliefs that actually labeled people as choosing to be in some way deviant with respect to gender when in fact if you've ever met a transgender person they're not deviants at all they're people who are uh, suffering tremendously with gender identity and most of them have encountered huge depression and many of them have had several suicide attempts in their lives so you know I use the word bigot to describe somebody who is extremely prejudiced against someone usually with very little understanding and uh, I use it as a way to ward people off a position especially if those people are in some kind of a huge majority as a white male in the United States of America I would say that I am a member of the most privileged class uh, at least in terms of our societal structure and I find it interesting when other members of white society say well you're discriminating against me because of my beliefs that's that's ridiculous I, I see the white male or to some degree the white female although a lesser degree as a class that is impossible to discriminate against because it is the dominant class at least in this society the person who is white has tremendous privilege and when they claim something like reverse discrimination i.e. you didn't hire me for that job because I'm not of a minority I have a huge issue with that and so I don't have an issue with positioning a word like bigot which has an extremely negative connotation okay it basically says put yourself in check or society is going to shun you I don't have a problem leveraging the power of that word the negative power of that word to move someone off of a position that is ill-informed and can cause great harm to many people. And some of my other friends will complain and say, well, you're using that word against me. And how do you expect me to be able to listen to you if you use that word against me? It's not convincing me. It's obviously not going to move me into a place where I'm going to agree with you. I don't know what to say to that. Of course, I understand and even appreciate the sentiment that, you know, it's a lot easier to use honey. It's a lot easier to say, look, you know, maybe you're just not really understanding. You're just not really informed about what people go through who are discriminated against. And if you did understand, then you would move off your position. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that with love and with patience and with caring. I'm sorry, I just don't think it's that effective. I think especially when you have a member of the majority class, the main class, the dominant class, you are going to be so much more effective if you accuse somebody of bigotry 
than if you try to patiently get them to come over to your point of view because you know what they're going to end up saying to you and this is fascinating they're going to end up saying well that's your opinion and i have a right to my opinion too no you don't <laughs> i mean <laughs> you know you're calling it an opinion i don't call it an opinion I call it a class of behavior that makes other people extremely depressed, extremely anguished to hold something about them that they really cannot control against them and put them in positions of great discomfort because of that. That's not an opinion. That's harm. That's aggression. And it's that kind of harm that can result in really, really great tragedies occurring. So, white people, especially white men, you are not entitled to your opinion. You're entitled enough, believe me. You've got plenty of entitlement. Give it a rest. It's not an opinion when it harms other people. It's behavior. And I'm going to leverage the power of the word bigot against you. So, this is an unusual message. This is Dr. Shippon with DrWhyNot.com asking you to consider the power of your words and sometimes use the words that make people uncomfortable to force them to change. God bless.